The names have been changed to protect the innocent. So this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to use NDI with OBS so that you can take one computer and send the video from one to the other without using a capture card. I think this may help my uh, buddies from across the pond, a sisterly duo that streams. So um, let's call one of them. Carry the deer, and let's call one of them Rachel, the octopus. And so what we want to do is we want to get video from Carrie's PC into Rachel's PC. So it's really quick and easy. I've already got NDI 5 installed. Um, I did just realize when I was going to go and make this tutorial that they have an NDI 6 that was released with a new plugin, and then they just changed the name of this uh, OBS plugin from OBS NDI to uh, Distro AV. So I'm going to real quickly show you how this should work using NDI 5 and OBS NDI. But then we're going to uninstall it and we're going to install NDI 6 and we're going to then show you how to use NDI 6 because I believe that that should be working now and that's going to be the latest update to use. So, real quick, what we want to do is here is we want to get this. OBS screen into that OBS somehow. All we're going to do here, because I have OBS already installed, I've got NDI installed, I've got the runtime installed, we'll go to Tools, we're going to go to NDI Output Settings. We're going to make this my main output. We're going to name our PC. I called this Carrie's new PC, that way uh, they can identify it. And then let's go over here to Rachel's PC, and we can go in here and go, we'll take this scene, We'll duplicate this scene, and then we will add a new source, and we're going to have this be an NDI source. We can call it whatever we want to name it. Enter it, and then from this source file name, nothing's going to show up yet, but if you drop this down, you'll have your computer name plus whatever you nicknamed it, and you can then click OK. Boom. Now we have that screen over here as a source that we can then grab and move around or do whatever we want with. We could take it and pin it to uh, the deer's head if you want. Um, but you can see over here, this, I'm moving on this screen, and uh, it's happening there in almost real time. You can see how quickly... That delay is, and that's just all going over the network. And you can make this much larger or whatever you want to do with it. You can add it to whatever scene and do whatever you know. But you also already know how to use scenes and whatnot, obviously. So that should help you with that. So let me show you how to quickly install this now. Um, we're going to have to close OBS and then uninstall some things. So I'm going to close OBS here on this screen. I'm going to close OBS over here on this screen. We're going to first go into here. Um, I typically use Revo Uninstaller, but I guess I doubt you have that installed, so we will just do... Uh, uh, add or remove programs. Then let's go here to... NDI Runtime 5, we're going to uninstall that. Cool, that's uninstalled. Now let's see if OBS NDI version right here, we're going to uninstall that. So worst case scenario, if NDI 6 doesn't work, I have all these files for NDI 5. I use it pretty much on every single PC that I have. Um, so, if you need me to uh, put NDI 5 on your computer, we can do that. But hopefully NDI 6 will work. You'll be able to just follow these instructions, download it, install it, and you'll be good to go. Um, so let me find NDI 5 runtime, uninstall. Um, yes. And right now I have these going through uh, 
two capture cards. Ironically, yeah, because we're trying to do a video on not using capture cards, but I'm using capture cards. That's just so that I can actually do this without having to send all this through an OBS additional window and have multiple OBSs running and have them sending out. And while I'm uninstalling and installing, they probably would have conflicts and whatnot. So it's just going to be easier for me to do it this way. So now that we have that uninstalled, we don't have NDI runtime and we don't have our OBS NDI plugin, but it's super easy to find these things. So I'll put these in the uh, description. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're using NDI. So NDI, if you want to go to the NDI website, you can go here to this. I'll put it in the description. Here's all your NDI tools specifically for Windows. They do have, you know, like a HX camera and whatnot, this thing right here, which allows you to then take your camera and use this over NDI to show anything. But I've already seen you use your hand cams and whatnot, ladies, so I don't think you need that. Um, but if you want to use this as an alternative, you definitely can do that. Basically, this is what we're trying to install is this NDI thing here. So what happened is uh, Distro AV, which used to be OBS NDI, was basically asked by the OBS project to get rid of the OBS in their name. So they've now changed the name to Distro AV. Um, and this is the latest update. 4.141. This still is called OBS NDI, but the next version that's supposed to come out is supposed to be uh, version 6, and that should be under the distro AV name at that point. doesn't really matter. Don't worry about any of that. Go here to installation. Right here we've got our install processes, so Windows, Mac, Linux. You're using Windows. You can do this and click on that and use your install that way, but we're going to do it a little bit easier. We're going to do it the uh, command line way, the, uh, what you'll see a lot of Linux users use. We're going to go Windows key. We're going to hit CMD up here. We're going to have a command prompt. We're going to right-click. We're going to run as administrator. That's going to bring up a command window. Very simple to do. All we're going to do is we're going to highlight this part right here under the install where it says WinGet install exact ID NDI runtime. We're going to copy that. We're going to take our command window. We're just going to hit control V. We're going to hit enter. That's going to start installing. It's going to ask us a question about a geographic region. We're going to give it permission with yes. Cool. It's going to install. Now you can see NDI runtime 6 is installing. Done. That's as simple as it is to install the NDI 6 runtime. Cool. Now we want to get the latest release of OBS. So we can if you scroll a little bit further. It'll talk about install distro AV, formerly OBS, and it shows you Windows, and it says releases. You can click there, and it'll bring up this window. I already have that window open. We're going to go here. Here's our window. We can go down here to the bottom. This is coming from GitHub. If you look up here, it's coming from GitHub. Pretty trusted. If you want to, you can install a zip, right? You want the Windows file. If you want to look up the source, you can definitely look up the source file. But here's your Windows files. If you need to install a zip, you can download it as a zip and then install it. I'm going to go ahead and just download the normal file. I'm going to install it into my downloads folder. I'm going to download it in my downloads folder. Open my downloads folder. I'm going to run that file. Finish. Done. So, in theory, now we have NDI installed on this computer, both in OBS for the OBS plugin and with the NDI runtime, which is what we need in the background to run this. So this computer hopefully should be good. We're going to relaunch OBS on this real quick. Then we're going to go do the same thing on Rachel's computer. Because right now, Carrie the Deer's computer works. Now we have to go to Rachel the Octopus's computer and make it work. So, same thing. I got the links. We're at NDI tools. This is Distro AV. We're going to go here. We can download it from this link, or we can do this. Winget. We're just going to use Winget. We're going to do command prompt. Yes. Run as administrator. Enter. Let this run. Click yes. Good to go. All this goes through. NDI runtime 6 is being installed. It's installed. Cool. We're done. Now we go here. We go down here. We get our installer. We Save it to our downloads folder. 
takes that long. We open our downloads. We run as administrator, or you can just install it if you prefer to do that. Go through the next, 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 install. It's done. We're installed. In theory, we're done now with NDI 6. I'm going to close this. I'm going to reopen OBS. In theory, this is still outputting now. Well, actually, it's not. Because we need to go up now here. We're going to go to our tools. We're going to go to NDI output settings. This is our new output. Ch -ch 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 carries new PC. Okay. Wow, this is a new uh, interface, too. We're going to click OK there. Oh, it's, it's already up here. Bam. So because we had already put that on, it's already in here. Um, so what we would need to do, if we didn't have that already going, we would go over here in our tools. Let's go to NDI output settings. Let's make that not the main output. So now... <laughs> This is frozen. We can clear it, delete it. There's nothing going on on that. Um, we can remove it. What we would need to do from this computer is go into our tools, NDI output settings, make this our main output, name it. We could also name it to output groups now on this. Then we can click OK. That will now be sending this to any NDI source. I can put it on that computer. I can put it on that computer, that computer, this computer, the other, my uh, test bench there, that computer, the audio recording computer over there, all my computers upstairs. Any of these can fling the video from any one of them together. Also with your camera. I think at one point I had like 12 different sources of NDI coming into one stream. So we'd go over here. We'll go to add a new source. NDI source, right? We're going to call this Carrie's new PC. There it is. Bam, boom, done. Look at that. Now, working. In fact, that might have even, oh my God, that might have even brought the latency down even further. So that's almost in real time. There's probably like 0.36 milliseconds of latency or under, in which case, if you really wanted to, you could offset your stream to go out by, you know, you could offset those things to actually have the stream put together with that 0.36 of milliseconds latency to actually broadcast uh, in sync. But I don't think that's the biggest deal. Now, let's say we wanted to do the reverse, right? We already have everything installed. We don't have to do anything different. Let's go ahead. We will delete this uh, carry scene from Rachel's computer. We'll go over here. We will not make this our main output. We're going to have Carrie, or Carrie's PC be the streaming PC now. We'll take Rachel's PC. We'll make this an output. We'll call this Rachel's PC. Cool. Now, in theory, this is broadcasting out over NDI to any NDI source that I can accept on this network, right? And I have all of my computers right now, all of these, every box I have is hard lined. Um, and then we can do here, we'll do a new NDI source. We will call this. Rachel's PC, cool, and then we will look here. Boom, Rachel's PC is that one. Boom. I was like, what happened? Oh, it took a second, but it got there. And there's Rachel's PC now coming from that PC into this PC. So this is still live, and this is still live. And you can see, in almost real time, that PC is streaming over here. So, in theory, we could take our little... VTuber characters, and we could either pin this as a node, you might be able to use a motion plugin, or depending on how you render it, whether you render it through this, this and pin it here and then send it, or just have her stream going so that when one of them dies, 
the other one then can be shown. And let's say, hey, I want to have uh, another PC put into this. If I want to add another PC, watch, I can add this PC over here. Hold on one second. Let's do this. Let's go over to that PC and add this one in. So I have to remove some things real quick first because I have NDI installed on this already. In fact, let me see what happens if I run OBS NDI on this thing and try to broadcast it. With uh, runtime 5 without and try to broadcast that to something else. Try that. Put an image on this. Damn, I got no pictures on this thing. No wonder. Let's do this. The text window on this. Cool. Now that should be an output. We go here. Send another NDI source. Let's see this. Boom. It's there. It's already there. So NDI 5 and NDI 6 can both be running together. That's awesome. Cool. Figured that out. We're learning this together. Thank you, girls, for teaching me and making me laugh all the time when I watch you. Appreciate you. I think that's it for everything. I think that is everything. So we've got a third screen broadcasting in here. So let's say that you get, you know, my favorite girl, Sand, comes in. Now we can bring baby Sand's PC onto this. You know, or both of these, San and Carrie, and could be broadcasting out to Rachel's PC. I'm having a hard time trying not to say your real names because I don't really know if you really want me to use your real names. So I'm trying to avoid using your real names. Although, for anyone out there that found this useful, that is not one of these two women, please, uh, instead of giving me a like or a subscription or anything like that, I don't give a shit about that stuff, please, uh, if you want to, follow this ARG, or the ARG as they call them in the... Uh, internet world, go and find these two girls. This augmented reality game of you trying to chase down who are these two women that I'm talking about. One is a deer, one is an octopus. One's name is Carrie USA. I'm a deer. And then Rachel, Rachel Robert over here, the octopus. See if you can find them, that sisterly duo that streams together. I think that's it for the video, though. Thank you, good night, and goodbye. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what they say, thank you.